But guess what, guys? That is the giant that I was looking for. He's going to be 380 yards out on the walk. We don't even have time to zero. Actually, yeah, we do. 380 yards on the walk. This is literally like my third time trying to record this video, and uh, that's because I did something kind of dumb last night. Everything was working perfectly, the audio was exactly how I wanted it, and all of a sudden my computer said, oh, you should probably update something. So I did a Windows update, and all of a sudden I went to record a video today, and it did not work whatsoever. It was all like... I've been watching a couple of really good bucks on my map lately, and one I want to try and get down with the bow, and the other one I want to try and take down with a 6.5 bolt action rifle. That's what my audio sounded like this morning, but now it sounds pretty good, and I'm so excited. Let's get out there and hunt for some giant muley bucks. What I was saying before is there's a really big muley that I want to try and take down with a bow, and another one I want to try and take down with a 6.5. Well, I couldn't exactly find the buck that I was looking for, but I just spotted this guy. That's a beautiful... What? He's going to drink right in the middle of the brush. Look at this. He is drinking right here. He's drinking right in the middle of this thick, thick brush here at uh, 1130 in the morning. And he's literally like 500 yards away from the nearest drinking source. I don't even know what to say at this point. That is absolutely unbelievable. Um, but yeah, at least we figured out where he's going to go. And I think we're going to get a little bit closer. And try and take him down with a 6.5 because we don't have a good wind. And the fact is, this buck is super, super smart. There's actually like a little pocket right there where if we slide over maybe 20 yards to the west side here, we should be able to have a decent broadside shot on this nice buck. Right about there. All right, he stopped out there at about 250. And I think this should work out right here if we hold it right between the two front shoulders for about 250. It's actually a pretty good setup here. What the heck just happened the first shot? Well, I just checked, and we actually do have hunting pressure, so that muley buck did go down. But how the heck did that first shot completely miss everything? I was holding above the heart for about 250, and it should have hit pretty much perfectly, and it didn't even touch him. What I'm thinking is it might have got a little bit of drop and probably clipped some of this brush here, which ended up throwing off our bullet, and we completely missed that buck because of it. But either way, here he is piled up right here. Now, where in the heck did we hit this thing? Even the fact that we hit him with the 6.5, usually they don't go down with a flesh hit. So I feel like, I don't know what we hit. We had to have hit vertebrae or, or something. I just, I really don't know what we hit. But all I know is it's a great looking buck. It's a really, really good buck. And uh, I guess we'll find out where we did hit and... Okay, then so somehow we actually did make an awesome shot and uh, bust through the shoulder blade still got a right lung at 247 yards and a 239 gold muley now I would say that that's probably the second shot right because the first shot I Really don't know <laughs> all I know is I'm pretty glad one of the shots actually did connect and we made a good shot And we did get this big muley buck down What a mystery <laughs> That's right, run away, run away, big buffalo. That's what I thought. You don't stand a chance. What is that one, though? That is a seven. The seven's actually bigger than the mythical. Okay, this next spot is a spot that I haven't been to in a while, but this spot here we really can't see unless we get right on top of them. There's kind of a hill between us and maybe like 100 yards away from us, and they sit kind of right in this little pocket. So basically, once we get over the top of this hill, we're going to be within 30 yards away from this giant buck, if he's actually here. I don't know, though, because I haven't been here in a while. But as we're sneaking over here, I'll show you on the map what it looks like. It's basically north of the Casita de Sabina outpost. You can kind of run to right here. Once you get here, you have to walk and then crouch. But right here is the first trench. They're actually behind this second trench here. So there's a hill right here between us and him. We got to get over here. But the thing is, you really can't see them. The only way you can really see them is if you run, jump them up, and you can probably spot them if you're lucky. But sometimes you might not even spot them because it's so thick here. 
So my best advice is to sneak over this hill. All right, here's the hill. They should be right down here somewhere. Now it's just a matter of trying to spot them before they see us. I thought I just saw, yes, I definitely did. We got a doe right there and where there's a doe, there's definitely a good chance there should be a buck here as well. We're gonna stay prone though, cause we're getting pretty close to these guys here and we don't have a lot of cover. There's uh, some pretty good cover right in front of us here, maybe like 40 yards. And once we get there, we should be able to crouch up. I just saw a rack. I just saw a rack from a buck right there. It looked pretty good. It looked like a really good buck. Remember, we're gonna stay prone and go as slow as we possibly can right now and try and tuck in this brush here. Right there. That's our buck. He's 15 yards away, he's right there. Just gotta get over a little bit so I can see better. But that's him right there. That's the buck we want. That's definitely the buck we want. Right there. Not exactly a perfect angle, but we could probably work with that. We can see him pretty good from here. He's only 16 yards out. I always gotta get him to turn a little bit. And we hit him a little bit high, but I think the exit should be good. And that should have been at least a single lung. What was that? Was that another big buck? Yeah, he's down. He's down. Oh, that's another good buck. That's a beautiful buck. I think that might be... Oh, man, that's another really good buck. Where... Okay. Do you guys see where all these bucks just came from? We never even saw them the entire time. And all of a sudden, three huge bucks just jump out. We snuck up on this one right below us here. He got super, super close. I had to hold kind of high because he was so close and we were kind of up on this hill. But we did connect because he didn't go maybe like 30, 40 yards. He piled up right over there, as a matter of fact, 40 yards away. So we made a pretty good shot there. And uh, I really want to try and get this other big buck when he comes back. He should definitely come back. Actually, I don't think he's coming back because I believe I just spotted him right out there behind that doe. In fact, there's the other buck I saw before. There's level three, level three. And I think he's right behind. That's him right there. That's definitely him. You know what we might do? We might actually try and call. We might be able to call him in. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but worth a try. He's only 100 yards out. It's not working. Kind of figured that would happen. Man, our buck's only 80 yards away from us and we cannot quite get a shot at this point. So what I think we're probably going to do is sneak over here. We'll pick up this buck and then we'll try and get in range on the second buck here. We have roughly 45 minutes to get close enough to get in range and take a shot on this buck before he's gone. All right, let's pick up our buck and see how we did on him. Ended up getting a 233 and a right lung shot at 14 yards away. Take a look at that shot though. We hit him a little bit high. All right, so our second buck should be maybe like 30 yards over the top of this hill here. We're going to be zeroed in for 20. So my goal is to try and get within 20 yards. We'll be able to use 20 yards exactly. Hold right for the front shoulder and go for an awesome shot. All right, we're going up over the hill now. We should be able to see our buck any second here. In fact, what is that right there is a doe and that is our buck right there 40 yards away from us right behind that doe, but we do not have a shot. We got a little bit of a predicament here though because the doe is kind of blocking all the vitals of that buck. All right, so we're dealing with about 30 yards right there. We could probably take the shot if that doe would just move. What should we do? What are the odds of this? I got an idea. Come on, Doe, move. Move, 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 move. <sighs> You're really going to do this to me, aren't you? You're going to make me sneak all the way up to 20 yards, pop up and try and take a shot right over the top of that doe shoulder and catch the vitals on that big buck. I guess she's going to make me do it and we're going to do it. All I know is we're less than 20 yards away at this point and we got to be super, super careful. We're not making any sound. So that's good. I'm trying to keep this tree between us and him. So we have somewhat of a decent spot for cover. 
Come on, give me cover, give me cover. Okay, no cover. That's fine. It's right there. Okay, I see him. We're gonna have to take the shot right on top of that doe. That doe is literally right in the way. I do not have a shot. Move, doe. Come on, doe, move, please, doe. I cannot believe we don't have a shot. I don't have a shot. I absolutely do not have a shot. We literally have about 15 minutes left to take down this buck and we can't take it because this doe is being a bodyguard right now. I mean, she is completely shielding him 100%. I can't even go for a front on shot. Okay, we're gonna try and slide around the backside of the tree here. We gotta be careful though, because there's deer all around us here. Okay, I think that's our buck. Oh, look at, look at, look at. That doe is right there. I can't believe how close we got to this buck. And we still do not have a shot. Let's crouch up and draw back. I think we're going to go for a shot here, guys. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Quartering away. And we smoked him. He's down. Oh. He was about to be gone. He was about to be long gone. And take a look at all the deer taken off. Holy look at them all. Unbelievable. Quartering away shot at about 20 yards out. He was about to leave. And we just absolutely smoked that buck. Yes. And here he lays right here. He's going to be a solid buck as well. Probably like a 240s buck. That's going to be a 239. A quartering away double lung shot. What an incredible shot placement right there. I can't even believe how much we absolutely smoked that bucket. 18 yards away, a double lung shot, and a beautiful muley down. I've never actually gotten a dilute diamond muley, and that's a really good dilute buck right there. So I'm thinking we should definitely take him down. Not only that, he's actually gold potential as well. And he's about 150 yards out. Let's see if we can't take him down. Make sure we reserved him for 160. Should have smoked him. And I think he went down because I do not see him anymore. But yeah, it'd be so cool to get a dilute diamond mule deer. And hopefully that one comes back a little bit bigger. There goes some mule deer. There goes a level three. Not a bad looking level three, but nothing super impressive. Another level three out there. It's not a bad looking level three either. I'm pretty sure our dilute buck should have piled up. I was going to say probably somewhere out here. And here he is piled up right out here. What are, are those axis deer? We jumped up a bunch of stuff out there. I just saw taken off. They are axis deer. What are they doing out there? Not a bad looking uh, buck right there. Small buck there. Anyway, he's not really interested. Here's our dilute buck. Let's pick him up. And a double lung liver shot. That actually is a solid buck. Wow. I didn't realize he was that big. Well, because he was broadside, I guess we couldn't really tell. That's a 229 gold dilute muley at 172 yards and a double lung liver shot. We just barely missed the top of the heart there. But a really nice muley buck down. But guess what, guys? That is a giant that I was looking for. He's going to be 380 yards out on the walk. We don't even have time to zero. Actually, yeah, we do. 380 yards on the walk. Oh, man, I think we just smoked him. It was a super far shot, and with the 6.5, I have so much confidence with the accuracy of this thing. But I don't think we ended up getting a double lung shot. We probably got a single lung coring away, or potentially a liver shot. I don't know. It was a long ways out. We held for uh, about like a three and a half, four foot lead on him, but I was holding high on the shoulder with 320. So that should have been pretty much exactly like 380 yards. Man, we actually went right over the top of all this brush here. That's how far out that huge muley buck was. He had a minimum estimate of 260. That is a huge buck. 
huge buck and apparently one incredible shot because take a look right there guys that is what we're after that is an incredible vital hit on that muley buck at about 200 actually no he was 380 yards out we got some more blood over here we can actually track him pretty good here got some blood there and we got some blood there and take a look right there lays our giant muley buck down 40 yards in front of us he only went about like 60 maybe 70 yards and piled up right over here i am really curious where we hit this absolute monster muley buck about 380 yards on the trot let's take a look at this beast of a muley buck here holy look at the size of the rack on that thing that is one absolute giant muley Whew. take a picture of him and let's pick him up and see how we did. That's going to be a 299 gold, a left lung liver stomach shot on the walk at 380 yards. And that is an absolute beast of a buck. Holy look at the rack on that thing. And what an awesome shot. Let's take a look at that. Quartering away at 380 yards on the walk. Whew, what an awesome shot on that giant buck. And he is definitely going in our trophy lodge. Wow. I didn't know he was going to be that big almost a 300 scoring muley that's why it pays to practice 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 that is how we knew where to lead that how much to lead that how high to hold on it and what to be zeroed in when we took that shot by practice i just found a max weight mule deer track and i've been tracking him for a good 200 yards now i don't know where he's going and i don't know how big he's gonna be but we're gonna stay on the track here and hopefully we can find him pretty soon What's odd here is I picked up the track right back here and he actually cut back the same way I just came from. We just took down the other two deer over here, that dilute buck and the other two uh, big muleys. And I picked up the track back here, but I was just here. I checked all the mule deer that were in this herd and there was only level three. So I don't know where this buck came from and I have no clue where he's going to. Got tracks down there. Look at that. We got tracks right there. Or we might have just found him. Got a call from a buck over there, but I don't see anything at this point. <laughs> that is definitely not him. <laughs> it's definitely not our buck. I don't think it's going to be the same herd as the big buck that we're tracking is. But now I don't even have his track anymore. I lost his track right there in the water. <laughs> um, I'm thinking he might have cut across over to here. <sighs> There he is. Oh my God. Look at that beauty of a buck. Wow. I absolutely love that buck. All right. We have a horrible wind. And uh, we're going to try and slide over and maybe compensate for that a little bit better here. Oh my God. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Meh, meh, meh. Oh, I was so close. He was right there. I cannot believe. Is that him? Did he get past us? What am I? No, it's a tree. I don't know what I'm looking at. Um, We got the 360 glitch. We pulled up and it basically pulled us this way. I was trying to aim this way and we were actually already aimed this way. So uh, unfortunately, it still does happen when you're full draw and you crouch down, it messes you all up. We smoked him. That's a beautiful buck. It's not the right buck, but we definitely smoked him. Okay. Now we gotta figure out where that giant buck went. Do not want to lose his track. That's his track right there. Where the heck is he going? I just can't figure it out. Track's going back that way now. Well, it was kind of cool though. It led us to this buck, so we got a nice little bonus out of it. He's actually not quite big enough to be a gold, but a double long shot is 25 yards out. I just want you guys to take a look at the map right now. Take a look at the map and look at how we tracked this mule deer here. Well, I just looked over this ridge here and I saw a really good buck. I think he actually might be in the same herd as our giant that we're looking for because I haven't seen any other bucks in this side. So I feel like he should be right there, right there. Holy water buffalo. There's a rack right there. See that? Now, obviously, that's not the biggest buck, but I'm pretty sure it's in the same herd 
as our giant. Okay, I don't know if it's a buck or a water buffalo, but either way, we better get ready here. It's him, no freaking way. Oh my god. Oh, we just smoked him. <laughs> He's down. Unbelievable. We tried to get this buck for the past one hour now. And if you look at the map, you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. We initially picked up his track here, tracked him this way. Then he cut back over here. We had him at 20 yards full draw right here. We couldn't take the shot. I lost his track here, started tracking him, backtracking him this way. And then I got back on his track. I actually marked where I lost his track here. I tracked him all the way down here. And there was a zone right here. And we're about to get attacked. Not today! Okay, I think we're okay. Um, but we were a- Actually, I forgot what I was gonna say. Anyways, let's go over here and take a look at this huge buck because we finally got him. I am so pumped. Look at the size of the rack on that thing. Whew. That's a giant. That is a giant muley right there. He's super, super wide as well. And so that's why I think he's a really, really cool looking buck. Let's take an awesome picture of him. Just like that. And let's pick him up. Well, that's going to be a 245 gold. We double lunged him at 17 yards away. What an awesome shot. He's super, super wide, but he doesn't have a ton of points. That's why he didn't quite break that 260 mark. But he's still an absolute giant and a beautiful muley buck we took down with the bow at 17 yards away. And I am so happy to have him in our lodge. And I think we actually hit that water buffalo because if you look right there, that's a vital hit. We're using the 420 grains, so they're going to run quite a ways. But either way, it should definitely take down this water buffalo. Well, that was actually not very easy to find. I kind of lost blood and uh, just started running the direction I thought he might have gone. And here he is down. I'm kind of curious where we hit him. And also, I mean, definitely looks like an incredible shot to me. But uh, what was our penetration like? And how far did he actually run with a double lung shot? At 18 yards away, he ran 340 yards. What an awesome shot, though. Whew. And it was absolutely toast. If we had the 600s in, he wouldn't have even gone probably 50 yards and piled up. But anyways, on that note, I think that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.